Alright guys, HPFC here, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, uh, I just popped into the graveyard here, just so I could uh, get some bugs uh, from under the rock there. So I just got some bugs in a bowl. You'll see why shortly. Well, you know why, what I've been doing with bugs for the rest of the game. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to finally start to make our way towards the next temple, <laughs> finally. So, I haven't really, I couldn't explain the beggar, have I? Well, I don't know if you can actually call him a beggar. Because, basically, you can tell him stuff. I forget what the exact prices are, because I've not done it for a long time, but... You can tell him, basically, any stuff you can put in a bottle. So, I think you can sell him fairies, and you can sell him bugs. Um blue fire, which is something we've not encountered yet. I think that's what he pays most for, the blue fire, if I remember right. But basically, it's just another way of getting rupees if you want. But as I said at this point, you really don't need to concern yourself too much with them. Anyway, let's head up Death Mountain, see what's going on. See what's happened in the last seven years. Oh, Tech Tite's still knocking about. Notice these boulders seem to have appeared, and we've also got big rolling boulders. Don't know why that's happening, but yeah. Oh. So, yep. Remember the place we planted the magic bean, and now we can finally get that uh, heart piece we've been seeing for ages. As I showed in a video a while back, you can get that heart very early on. Um, well, basically, when you first come up Death Mountain, and you, when you can uh, you backflip off the top where the uh, the uh, bomb flower is, so yeah. But I want to do it the correct way. So that'll be piece number uh, twenty-six, won't it? It's ten more. Oh God, I got nailed by that thing. Right, we are going to make a quick stop in uh, Dongo's Cavern again. Because there is actually another sculpture in here. They walked it long, it's only um, near the beginning of the dungeon. Oh, just got on that in time. Yeah, so we go over to the right side. And through this passage, we're going to be attacked by the baby Dodongos. So I think this is one of the hardest ones to get because it's just so easy to miss. But notice we walked it. Yep, nice Navi quickly flies away there. And she's turned green. You can see if you were to look or get the camera angle right. Yeah, that's so easy to miss. I only ever found out about it because I remember a friend telling me. But um, yeah, it's another um, spot where you can um, call Pierre the Scarecrow. So we're going to play, play the. Uh, the world's longest scarecrow song. Oh boy. Probably a good time to go for a piss. Or just do anything else with your life. Shot up there. Ah, his face. And there you go. And there's another gold at uh, Uh Number 54. Still so many to go. At least we're over halfway though. But yes, we're now officially done with the Dongo's Cavern. So let's get the hell out of here. Right, 
Right, so now we're going to go uh, back to uh, Goron City, checking down the Gorons, see what's going on. Maybe we can find out why there's the fiery ring around the volcano. God, what's that explosion? Alright, here we go, Goron City. Seven years later. Okay, where the hell is everyone? There's a little Goron fella rolling around there, but I don't see anyone else. It's weird. Doors are shut as well to um, Darunia's uh, room. They all seem to have disappeared. Is just one Goron left here? What's going on? You know, you may have. Uh, well, you can hear it again there. Yep, there is a gold sculpture right there on the back of the uh, suspended platform. 55. Let's uh, head up a level. It's a shortcut to uh, the Lost Woods. Oh, I just jumped down. Alright, so we need to stop this uh, little fella here. And what we can also do is uh, bomb this wall here. Find another wall. This is sorcery. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, there's another wall. Hence why I brought the uh, bomb flower. And another wall. My goodness, someone doesn't want us getting in here. To be honest, it'd be a lot easier just to use my own bombs, but. Uh, There we go. Oh my goodness, there's a giant Goron. Look at the size of him. I just completed a small weapon. How about it? How about buying this knife for 200 rupees? Well, okay. So there you go. We got the giant's knife. So as I said there, you got to hold it with both hands. Which means you can't use your shield with it. But it is uh, the most powerful sword in the game, believe it or not, because it does twice the damage of the Master Sword. I always thought that was a bit weird that there's a sword more powerful than the Master Sword. I mean, the Master Sword's meant to be the ultimate sword, but no. We got the Giant's Knife. We'll pop that bad boy on later. Anyway, let's uh, let's stop this uh, little Goron in his tracks. Have to use a bomb again. Where is he? Where is he? Here he comes. Time it right. Well, that should have counted. If you get too near to me, I'll roll the other way. He's harder to stop than the uh, bigger Goron because he's obviously smaller, isn't he? Just keep chucking a lot of bombs. There we go. How could you do this to me? You, you Ganondorf servants. Hear my name and tremble. I am Link, here with the Gorons. What? What? What is this? Who does this guy think he is? What? Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero Link. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Oh, okay, this is Darunia's son. Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name, I really like it. Link, you're a hero to us, Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please, give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Link of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask for, your, for this. Please help everyone. My dad, Darunia, went to the Fire Temple. A dragon is inside. Oh, shit. Fucking dragons. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. And he's going to get a tear on. 
Okay, we've got to calm him down. Okay, let's ask about this dragon. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named... Volvagia. What was it I used to call it as a kid? Oh, well, Volvagia, Volvagia. We'll go with Volvagia. No, Volvagia. Volvaga. I think I just called it as a kid. Volvaga. That dragon was very scary. It ate Gorons using a huge hammer, the hero of Gorons. Boom! Destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. Oh, what works again? Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that the god uh, said that Gandalf has revived Volvagia. No, I'm gonna go with Volvagia. Oh, then ah, I got ah. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Gandalf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, Link. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. Oh, nice! Look at that. A nice red tunic. Beautiful. Oh, the doors are open as well. Well, I'll tell you what, let's slap on our new tunic. Whoa, look at that. It's pretty cool. So this is allow us to uh, go into the volcano without, well, burning to death. You remember I went in there as a kid, and it tells you they can only stand the heat for so long, and then it's a minute in it you get before you die. Touch your side dash room. Okay. Um yeah, before I forget there's you remember the, the room up on the it's on the top floor in it where you can bomb all those boulders? That's where I got uh, there's a sculpture in there in the in the crate. And there was two chests. Um not there's three chests, actually. Um I don't think I opened them, did I? They basically got rupees in them. Um, I think it's two purple rupees and a gold rupee. So, yeah. Anyway, the shop's open now. Not that you're going to use it, but... Yeah, you can buy bombs, hearts, and some red potion. And a red tunic, but we just got one for free, so... I guess we're heading uh, into the volcano, to the fire temple, which is of course the next temple. Alright, so he said move this statue here, so here we go, let's give it a pull. There we go. In we go. So yep, we can spend as much time as we want here now, as long as you've got your red tunic on. These boulders blocking the way, and they are not bombable. So I'm gonna have to do. Let's use his hook shot on this broken bridge. Fire, okay. All right.
And Shriek's gone again. A mysterious character. Yep, we can now uh, warp here inside uh, Death Mountain. So that's uh, th three warp points we got now. So, what I'm actually going to quickly do, just before we head into the fight, end, which is straight ahead across there, I'm going to pop back to the um, Temple of Time. So back. Huh? All right, work it again. Yeah, you're back in green because, well, you had your next adult size. It won't fit, Child Link. All right, now we're going to go back to um, back in the uh, Death Mountain. So let's play the uh, Bolero of Fire. Is it R L R L Y R Y R? We go. Remember, we are wearing his green tunic though, so it'll be quick in there. Yeah, okay. So we're doing this now because, uh, well, you can only get to this point um, once you're an adult and you get your hook shot and you can get over there and you've removed the thing from Darunia's room and blah blah blah. So anyway, yeah. See the soil spot? The soil spot doesn't appear um, when you're an adult for some reason. So first off, the bugs. I got from uh, the graveyard. Well, you know, those things are scattered all over the place. Pop them in there. That's, of course, for a gold skull chiller. There we go. Alright. So that was uh, number 56. And then, so we've got a skull, so we'll pop the magic beans in there. Alright, now we'll go back to the uh, Temple of Time. Oops. And of course, uh, get the Master Sword back, jump forward seven years again. Right again. All right, so now back to the uh, back to Death Mountain. There we go, the plant's grown. There you go, you're gonna land on there. 
and get your heart piece. So, numero 27. Alright, back down. Alright, finally time to go into the fire temple. Save the Gorons. Ugh, screw the ladder. All right. Oh god. Yep. I got fire case. I'm gonna start off uh, taking a left here through this door. Oi, oi! There he is. Our old pal here. Free the Gorons. So you can see there, that's the uh, the boss door straight ahead. But of course, we ain't got the key yet. To go through this uh, temple first. So yeah, um, that's gonna do it for this part. And uh, well, next time we'll crack on with um, well with the fire temple. Try to save the Gorons. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.